I need to get in there. Oh no, 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 no. Are we out? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Good morning, everybody. It's Corey. I'm in Charleston, about to do some good saltwater fishing. Um, it's like Friday evening, Friday afternoon, and I'm super pumped to, to get a line in the water. The water is pretty dirty. It's only like, what, I don't know, eight inches of visibility. I scrounged up some redfish and maybe some flounder. It's about 1 p.m. We're planning on fishing until, until I don't know, about 5 p.m. Uh, small creek here in Charleston, South Carolina on a falling tide. I'm gonna go with this chartreuse tail, root beer, and the willow vibe by Z-Man. Super stained water. Put your bow into the current and then you just can, oh, there's a good hit. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen where the, around your dock where the tide goes out and you look in the mud and you can see prints of where the flounder have been laying? See how they orientate around the structure? Oyster mound like that. You can see how they laid up just on the opposite side of the current. And you can see which direction because their tails on the backside. You can see which direction they've been laying. And it gives you kind of a good idea of the way that they like lay there and feed. It's interesting to observe that kind of stuff. No, it's fine. Um, that's good. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to catch anything in the middle of the creek, especially on a float rig. Uh, so back there. There were oysters that are coming out of a creek. So creek mouths are awesome. And also oyster is a good, really good structure that this, the fish gravitate towards. This right here is a very encrusted, nasty looking um, dock that uh, has good structure. So the best thing about a rig like that is you're gonna be floating above, say some oysters without snagging the oysters. I think really to consider, especially with using a cork is it gets drifted off of spots yeah, and you so like middle. you know when the tide's coming up you want to be right on the grass like a foot from the grass six inches from the grass or in the grass as much as possible because okay. that's where the redfish are which side of the bank where the wind is pushing you into the grass okay. so that your your cork and your bait is like on the bank right now we, it's coming like down the funnel we're coming straight so you can pick either side you want no no i mean the kayaks it, think of it as like made of the same material as a dumpster heavy duty plastic like you, it's pretty much indestructible. If I'm Mad Max at the end of the world, this is what I want to be in. <laughs> Just parallel to that dock there a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I wasn't sure if people would care, or, you know. You know, as long as you're not going on it. You know, just for a little bit of support, just do this. You know, it's it's getting so shallow. We might go to the down, you know, down further. But if you just do this and kind of edge up, you're just kind of using it, and you might just steady yourself on it a little bit but you're not tying up to it. So here you can kind of side cast and you can get it right up by the pilings. Um, the only thing is it's gonna constantly be drifting back to you. Right. Um, so dock structure, oyster mounds, and, and creeks and mouths, mouth creeks. So you're stacking kind of good odds. Yeah. yeah a, get that redfish, dude. It's gonna be a third, a third. Oh, Woo! That's a great fish. Oh yeah, that's what we're after. There's no, there's a, there's no, there's a, you're, it's all right, those fish aren't going anywhere. You're far away from them. We can cast up in there again. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, it is. Dude, that thing is golden. You should call that a goldfish, not a redfish. All right, hold that thing up, dude. 27 on the dock. Beautiful fish, dude. Congrats. Yeah, man. Thank you. Let him go. Let's get him back in. It's a big fish, bud. Let's see if we can't get one. I'm going to see if I can find another one on this side. Sure. Try to sneak in here and stick in this mud. Just like this. Let's see if we can't cast in there and find another one. I'm going to stand up here. Give it a couple jigs, and there we go. I gotta stop it. Oh, it's gonna cut me off here. It's a big fish, man. I gotta get him. He's gonna cut me off. Gotta pull that fish out of there. 
Uh, I think I'm safe. Thank God. Thank God. Oh. Throw the stake out pole in here too. Stick that stake out pole in the mud. Whoo! Man, that was quick. Look at this fish, man. This reel has 20 pounds of drag. I had to use a lot of it to not get cut off right there. You saw the arc on my rod. I applied the pressure. Ooh. Dang. <laughs> oh. That's a big one. This fish is every bit the same class, I think. Look at that thing. <clears throat> Look at that fish. Beautiful. Woo! The big red, dude. Yeah, my, it's 26, but it's, man, it's a good fish. Yeah, I thought it was bigger. Yeah. But uh, he keyed me in on a really good dock that was being productive, and I caught this awesome fish right at 26. Beautiful over slot redfish, but it definitely pays to have friends that know how to fish. Um, thanks, Luke, for getting me in on this one. But uh, this thing is beautiful. It's like bright orange gorgeous fish super healthy I really don't see any parasites on it gorgeous blue tail look at that thing in the Sun absolute pleasure to have to catch this fish today but uh, we're here in South in Charleston South Carolina on the redfish um, throw this one back and see if we can catch another one so we can get a nice revive on it I really like to put these uh, fish grips in their lip that way you can kind of hold on to them you can even put it over your rod holder a little bit or just hold on to it and go forward with the kayak Pedal forward, that way you can get a, they can be with you for a little bit while you're moving forward and the water's moving over them. And uh, you get an awesome revive, super lively when you decide to let go with the, with the, uh, with the fish grips. Boy. Get him. Oh yeah, you got him out. I don't want to get in your way. I'm gonna loop around here. Justin's on the board. There you go, bud. That's a thick fish, though. Thick. Go on there. Nice, close. 23. And a uh, half. Half. Good fish, though, bud. Oh, should have held him up for a picture. Nice job, dude. I think there's a red under here. I just missed one. Cast under there again. Not a bad cast. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm on. Come on for me. Come on to me, buddy. Yeah, come on. All right. Loosen up my drag a little bit here. Play it. Now that he's out. We are out. I knew there was fish in there. Really gets my heart racing. Goodness. Yeah, buddy. Uh. Good. Right at 18 inches. 
what I like to do when I bring a fish home. Um, it's not it's not necessary with a fish like this. It's just cut it right here under the plate or under the the gill plate. And then I also cut it here at the tail. I think it has a, a there's a Japanese name for it, um, ikijimi or something. Um, there's a technique, but uh, I do that now. I usually just throw it in the in the wet or not the well, but here in the little hole, and let it just bleed for a second, and then I'll put it in my ice bag. But honestly, I feel better about it. I think the meat tastes better, and I also think it's just ethical. I like to watch the birds when they're flying like right on the bank, because they'll like scare the redfish sometimes. Oh yeah. Oh, that was cool. That was cool to see his whole back come out of the water. I bet that's on camera. You think so? uh, yeah, I can zoom in on that. Man, it's like, I think feels like temperature is like 99, 98. No wonder why these fish, these redfish are under these docks. So that's really where I'm spending most of my focus, most of my energy. It's like bass fishing. These are like so much, behave so much like bass. Structure oriented. They get up nice and shallow. And there's a redfish shadow right there in the water. I don't think you guys can see it. But see how the all of the all the bait fish all the way down are we're just there goes another one. <laughs> that's so cool and then all the puffs puffs of mud in its wake right behind it you can see exactly where it went as its tail just goes like that periodically no Ugh. god damn that's a strong one I need to get in there. Uh. Uh. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Uh. He's got me tangled. Are we out? Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, mortal combat. Ah. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> Thank goodness. Whew. Close quarter combat. I thought he had me. Luckily, his instincts were bad. It went to open water. I know. Oh, Horrible instincts. He went to open water after a while. Yeah. It might, I don't know, it might be a black drum or something. It's big. No. Thank God it went uh, out in the open, huh? God damn. Can't go to the other set of docks. No, it's a red. It's just, uh, I'm playing a little bit because of what happened in my last one. Healthy. It's a healthy fish. It's got two tail, two uh, spots on the tail too. Dude, I thought I lost it. Do you see what was happening? It like took me between all those pilings. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> this redfish, I hooked it under that dock, and it went straight. It went straight for a piling, and I thought there was no way I was gonna bring it in, but. I think its instincts were to go to open water. Thankfully, it went to open water and uh, it went out to the middle of the creek and I was able to bring it in. But man, what an awesome fish. This thing, I haven't even measured it yet. So it's, uh, I mean, it's right at 30 inches. Awesome fish, 30 inch redfish on artificial. 
This is spectacular. What a great fish. That's awesome. But it's a small creek fishing under docks. You get a good solid release here, but that'll really get your heart pumping. Love it. There, it swims right off. That's amazing. What a great day. Is that a slot? Oh, yeah. Probably. Hey, buddy. So especially as this tide is starting to just barely touch the grass and as it's touching the grass, instead of going around the docks, I like to fold all my rods down and go through the docks. That way I can just parallel cast right up the banks like this. And you'd be surprised how close they are to the bank. Coming at me. <laughs> Oh man, that fish came right at me, dude. Hooked right into it. Dude, it freaking flew at me. All right, this is gonna be like one of the last spots I visit before I pull out of the creek, I think. Place I visited earlier on low tide and it fish all around it and a bunch of um, oyster mounds. That was a hit right there. And I'm on. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that didn't take long. I'm gonna uh, stake out right here. Something blew up right over there on that grass line. 